farm such fun. Today we're gonna to be working on the old apple cider press. Um, yesterday, Jen and I, we went and picked up five bushels of locally grown organic apples that we're gonna run through here. Uh, it'll be the first time we're gonna be using this. Logan's gonna help me today. Um, basically, all we're doing, all, everything's in really nice shape, except this must have been sitting on a dirt floor. So this one leg here, on the heavy side, this is the heavy side of the flywheel. It must have rotten and slowly sank. So it's gonna end up, it's about two inches shorter than the other leg. So I wanna stable that up so it's not bouncing all over the place <laughs> while, we're, while we're crank putting the apples through it. Dad, so we're gonna pull Dad. this leg off today. Uh, we're gonna Dad, cut this rotten Dad. off square and we're gonna mortise and tenon uh, a new piece of hickory Dad, on the bottom. Dad. Yeah, you're gonna help me, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's get started. Let's pull this leg off and uh, get going. Oh, and the other day my brother came over and we washed the whole thing down with uh, white distilled vinegar and water. It's a 50-50 mix. And it made everything really nice and clean. Um, there's a little bit of debris in the bottom of this tray here. We'll vacuum that out and rinse that all out with water really well before we use it. But uh, I also oiled everything up so everything spins really nicely. I just used a little vegetable oil. So yeah, everything spins really nice now, and it's gonna it's gonna work really well. Hopefully, it should. So, all right, let's get this leg off of here. All right, so basically how this is put together is there's just there's basically just a threaded rod through here, and it has nuts on both ends. So we're just gonna take the one end apart here. Oh yeah, everything's in really good shape, so it's all coming apart really nicely. Um, this one here we're gonna have to hammer out a little bit. Hey Logan, can I see that hammer? Can I have the hammer please? No, 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 don't hammer that. Logan, Logan, come over here. Thank you for listening. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Right, so you can see what I mean, how the end of the leg here just got all rotten and uh, deteriorated. I mean, this is probably 150 years old or so. So we're actually gonna cut this off. We're gonna cut this off right here. We're gonna go over in the workshop and uh, we're gonna cut that off and we'll make another piece. I measured the other leg. It needs to be 32 inches long to match the other four le three legs. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we do a nice repair and keep all this nice patina in the original, original wood because it looks, it looks really nice. What are you doing? Looking at that. Yeah. You want to come help me in the workshop? We'll go see if we can fix this leg. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on. We're gonna grab the saw because we're probably gonna need it. Want to carry that for me? I'll cut it. No, thank you. Be careful. It's sharp. All right. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'll hold that. Bye-bye, barn. No, we're coming right back to the barn. Come on. I'm gonna keep this locked up because we got lots of cool stuff in here. All right, so this is my workshop. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my workshop before. But this is where I work on all of my whatever's that needs to be fixed, everything on the homestead here. We have 
lots of antique tools because I love using antique tools. I mean, you can see some of them up here. Bunch of wood planes, bunch of just a bunch, all kinds of neat stuff. And we can go through this if you guys have any interest in it, and I can show you everything. Um, over here, I have a, a shave horse that I built. I broke the foot pedal off the bottom of it, but basically this, this opens and closes and it clamps your work so you can work on it with a draw knife or a spoke shave. Um, we got a couple of froes over here, hand saws all over the place. I have an antique toolbox here that's full of tools that I use pretty regularly. Um, with the old hand saws that I keep sharp and use and I got some timber framing tools over here. Old levels. Like I said, I use all this stuff. It's, I love it. Uh, this is an old window I'm working on for the barn. It, uh, you can see it just started rotting and fell apart. I gotta do the frame also. So that'll be another project that I'm gonna start soon. I just wanna take the, the glass was actually falling out, so I wanted to take the glass out before it completely fell out. But uh, we're gonna put that away and we'll, we'll start working on the leg on the apple cider press here. The other thing I don't have is a proper vise for woodworking. I also don't have a proper woodworking table or a workbench. I'm going to be building one shortly. So we're just going to score this around where we want to cut off all that's rotten. Now I'm an amateur woodworker, but I have a pretty okay idea of how to go about things. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna move. Yeah, that's pretty good. We followed the line nice, went down nice. So that's good. So now we gotta figure out how long of a piece we're gonna need. Wow. Instead of tape measures, I really like using these old school fold out rulers. This good. that's like 72 inches long. And it folds up nice and it looks great in your toolbox. Carbon's been using these for centuries to measure. So we're at 20. Eight and just about three quarters of an inch of it. One, two, three and a quarter inches long. All right, so this is a piece of uh, sugar maple that I've had laying around. It's pretty square already. It's definitely big enough to use on here. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm just going to, uh, we're going to flatten off these two faces because it's. Yeah, we're going to flatten off one face nice and level with the, with the wood plane. And then. Um, We'll just make the whole thing square and the right size. And well, when we mount this on here, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do a mortise and tenon. So it's gonna come in through here up into the good wood. 
probably about an inch, inch and a half. And then uh, we'll, put, we'll drive pegs, probably two pegs through there to hold it into place. And uh, it'll be it'll be a really nice solid repair when we're all done. And now this here is just an old scrub plane it's called. We're gonna use this to just get the one face nice and flat and level. And we'll be checking that with the, uh, the square. Alright, so you can see how it, it does a pretty nice job of leveling out that surface pretty quickly. Um, you can see we're really high here, really low here. So I'm going to keep going with this until we get this nice and flat. Then we're going to use that square edge to make this edge square. We're going to use both of those to make the opposite side here, the opposite side on the bottom square. And we're going to make it the right size for the piece we need. And we're going to mount everything. And this is actually going to be a little bit big and we're going to plane it down to match that leg exactly. And maybe we'll stain it to make it match. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to continue with that and we'll come back when I get this about the right size and ready to cut the tenon.